Now, from NBC10 News, all that and more continue. Well, Breakthrough Medical News just released a way to slow cancer, even stop its growth. The news comes from the prestigious National Institutes of Health. And Denise is back to talk more about that. This is fascinating. Yeah, huge news on the cancer front, Tracy. High dose injections of vitamin C reduce tumor growth by half, according to the new research. And what's more, the treatment does not harm healthy cells, meaning there are fewer difficult side effects often experienced with traditional cancer treatments like chemotherapy and radiation. The work was done on mice, but one local doctor says he successfully used vitamin C treatment on patients for quite some time. NBC10 News Health Watch has been following one of those patients for about a year. Go home and die. That's what doctors told 59-year-old Arlindo Oliveira. His lung cancer was so advanced it had spread to his brain and doctors said there was nothing they could do. Today, Arlindo is cancer-free. And my pulmonary doctor told me, whatever you're doing, keep on doing. Arlindo believes his cancer is gone because of vitamin C treatment. He's working on me from what the doctor says. Dr. Scott Greenberg says he has successfully treated many people in our area with vitamin C infusions, including Arlindo. One patient I had had a breast mass from breast cancer that was literally protruding out of her chest. And after a few months of treatment, the mass just shrunk and went away. And it's been over five years now to where she doesn't have any sign of cancer whatsoever. Some doctors believe vitamin C treatment works by killing the cancer cells. Researchers at the National Institutes of Health say it may also work as an antioxidant, protecting cells from the damage of free radicals. How intravenous vitamin C works for cancer cells is that it produces hydrogen peroxide, just like chemotherapy does, and that hydrogen peroxide will then help and cause oxidative damage to the cancer cell, thus destroying it. The National Institutes of Health study treated mice with aggressive brain, ovarian, and pancreatic tumors. Tumor growth and weight was reduced by 41 to 53 percent, and the brain cancer stopped spreading. Dr. Greenberg says it only works in very high intravenous doses and can be used along with traditional chemo and radiation. He says it's a valuable option for those who don't respond to other treatment. It's not going to work on everybody, just like chemotherapy or radiation is not going to work on everybody. But when you have cancer, it's certainly worth the effort in order to do this treatment. We're happy to uh, say that Arlindo continues to be cancer-free today. Now, the treatment is not covered by insurance, but costs considerably less than standard chemotherapy or radiation. It's about $125 per treatment versus several thousand dollars. Now, locally, Thomas Jefferson University Hospital is enrolling some cancer patients in a National Institutes of Health study. So go to NBC10.com and click on Health Watch for more information. And we should make this clear. It's vitamin C treatment. You can't really get the effects by just eating a lot of food with vitamin C in it. Yeah, that's true, Tracy. Dr. Greenberg says that vitamin C has to be injected into the vein to work. Otherwise, your body just regulates the amount of vitamin C you take orally, and the extra amounts just end up leaving your body through your urine. It's pretty incredible. We yeah, look forward to more information on it. Thanks. Thanks.